Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Tuesday, June 9th, 2009. This morning we're going to go through something that's been in Small Talk for a long time that you probably don't pay much attention to anymore, and that's the change set. If you look down here in the launcher, you'll see there's something labeled default, and you might wonder what that is. If you leave the mouse there, it tells you that it's a change set. If I left click, you notice that it has a default change set, and I can create a new one. What's going on here is whenever I add code, change code, define code, it will go into the current change set. So if I want all of my changes to go into a particular change set, I can define a new one, call it something like my set, and just hit return. Now notice it says down here my set, notice the little minus sign, nothing there. But if I right click, I have various options. I can file this out, I can open the change set manager, I can inspect it, and you see here it's telling me that it's empty, nothing's happened yet. So let's just do a couple of small changes and watch what happens. We'll go to the browser, we'll create a package called foo and we'll go and create a class called foo class we'll give it some variables var1 var2 and now what we'll do is we'll create a new package we'll call this package bar and with bar selected we'll come here and say define a new class call that bar class and give it a couple variables like var1 var2 and now having done that Let's go back here. Notice the little asterisk says it's changed. If I right click and inspect this, it's going to tell me that there have been a bunch of changes. I've added some classes. I've made some changes. If I go here to the component changes, you can see that it's listing things there. And what I can do here is I can file this out. So I can do file out. And let's just call it my set. Did this this morning, so it's prompting me that there's another file. So I'll hit OK. Now let's just quit without saving. And what I'll do is I'll bring my image back up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Tools, Change List. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open File, Read Different Source from Files, and I'm going to pick my set.st. And you see here it's telling me to find this class, to find that class, and down here to find the packages. I can do Replay all from top, and it'll replay everything that happened. And now at this point, if I open a browser, you'll see that I've got my bar package, and down below I've got my foo package, and everything is there. So I've got my accessing methods over here, my initialize, I've got my variables, everything's back where I put it. Also, as far as change sets go, the more common place you're going to see this is if I select a package here, like the foo package, and I right click, one of the options in here is browse changed methods here. And what that's telling me is all the methods that have changed since I created this package, each package has its own per package change set. And this is often useful if, say, you're running a server like I run the blog server, and you want to do some testing locally, make some changes, and then apply those changes to the server without stopping it. You can put out the entire parcel that you're going to have so that every time you restart the server it starts clean. But in the interim you can apply the change set to the running application. That's how I manage the blog server, is I work with a package, dump out this change set, apply it to my server, and then put the entire new package up on the server as well, so that if I have to restart it, it starts clean, I don't have to apply a whole ton of change sets, it's just a way of managing things as I go along. Anyway, it's just a brief look at change sets, and while you're probably not going to use these heavily in most modern development, you're going to use store and put things into your version control system, it's kind of a neat little thing to know about. In any case, that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.